What's up, soldiers? If you can kindly, those of you just logging on here, you can kindly let me know if you um if you can hear me. That'd be greatly appreciated. Just trying to turn off the tunes today, you know. You boy always have to get in the mood with a little something, something. Mind your funky business. <laughs> so we got Kathy Ann, Lisa, Nathan, Cheryl D, Cecily, Nicole. Cole Maritza, Alexis King MJ, word. Tony Peters from Boston. I was supposed to be Boston last weekend, but plans got changed on me there. Small team man. Alicia from Tobago, Carla. Anika Maloney, Samuel C.W. Lowe. Grace turned out in the house. Yeah, man. Samuel, how you saying? All good? Yeah, friends, welcome to the weekly recipe chit chat. We've got Egypt. How are you doing, my friend? Tony Peters, Darius, Fanny Richards, Orlando. If you guys, you know how we do it, hit that thumbs up there. Greatly appreciated as usual. Jose, Fort Lauderdale, Florida in the house. Fort Lauderdale got some weird weather, man. I was down there a while back. And I kid you not. So I'm staying in this, the bottom floor of a I don't think it was a hotel. I don't know, like a guest house, maybe? The entire floor I had. I go outside to the front where the pool is. Yo, storming, raining like crazy. I go to the back of the house. I look out the kitchen window. Dry ice salt biscuit. I was like, word, eh? Um, Curacao in the house. Russia, word, eh? Look at that. We got neat man from Connecticut. Why do I keep playing with my hands, eh? You guys make me nervous, eh? Nah, I don't get nervous, man. Williamsville. Look at that, Cleopatra. That's my hometown, you know. I don't know if you realize that, but I was from I was born just up the road, man. Um, Candace, how you doing? Sadiq from Brooklyn. And there I go playing my flicking on again. Vanetta Loretta, how you doing? Well, friends, welcome to another episode of Recipe Chit Chat. If you guys see me, as I keep saying every time we do this, if you keep seeing me point looking this way, like towards that way there, that's where your comments are coming up. Um so I'm always looking that way. I'm not looking at the camera too often. Small thing, man. Um, AJ Online, good afternoon, brother. Just wanted to say thank you. Tried a few of your recipes, and they came out fantastic. Bless you for supporting with the whole Amazon thing. I love that, man. Jacqueline Redman from Trinidad. Big up yourself, Vanetta. <laughs> we got Cleveland, Ohio in the house. Um, Robin, we got Benedette. Antigua in the house, CW Low, Antigua. You guys just had your carnival, eh? Um, Sean from Cornwall. Cornwall, Ontario, or Cornwall as in across the people ocean? I'm guessing across the ocean. Um, AJ, I'm glad you like that. Um, and rice and peas, guys. I don't know if you guys saw the latest video I posted. I posted the, the curry duck, which I humbly called <laughs> the ultimate curry duck um we did that outside we did it over um fire real fire man um so if you have any questions in regard to that recipe please do um um yeah please um please post your, your question there our friend from russia is asking us if i know what do i like a russian kitchen I'm not sure what you're asking, but hey, as long as it's making food, I'm in that, man. I'm all up in that. Svet, Svet, Svetlana. Nice to see you again. Have you have a request for you? Please, more recipes with provisions. Um, I was out yesterday. I don't know if you guys follow me on the Instagram at Caribbean Pot, and I picked up a couple white yam. A couple sweet potato, and I have some Edo's in the fridge there. That was supposed to be my recipe I was doing today, but I get tied up with, with other things. Um, any reason for not seasoning the duck with curry powder? I don't rest necessarily see the reason for doing it with curry powder. Because if you recall, I added the anchor masala in there, and I added the 
the roasted cumin. And these ingredients you will find in a good curry powder as well, right? Um, but I'm, I'm going to say everybody can tailor things to their own way. If you like seasoning it with curry powder, do your thing, man. Baby girl, Das is in the house. Bernadette, my family's from Trinidad and Tobago, Bellevue Village in St. James. Bernadette. Um, South Dakota, word, eh? <laughs> DTK from South Dakota. Um, no, I don't have any more duck remaining, baby girl. I had some in the freezer, which I took care of. Um, I didn't want it to get freezer burned. Uh, it wasn't going to get freezer burned, though. But um, And the rest, my mom and dad, I don't know if they showed up. in the, No, they didn't. But they were in the background when I was filming that curry duck. And, you know, one of the things that really st stood out for me with that whole curry duck recipe there was something my mom said to me after. She came outside and she was having some. We were eating outside there. My sister came to my, my niece was here as well. And my sister came to pick them up to take them back to Toronto. And my mom said, while she was eating with my dad, it's so good to get a good curry cooked for you. Because whenever we gather, whenever we meet as a family, whatever, my mom does all the cooking. Um, she's the boss. I ain't even trying to, to compete. But to hear her say that, yo, touch big man heart, you know. Um, from Sandy Grandi, Indy, how are you doing? Takia. Ali, you are a great cook. Thank you so much. Um, the duck, uh, Bernadette, yeah, the duck was awesome, man. Um, Ashley, how are you doing? Um, so if you have any questions um, recipe related or something, please post it here as we go through things. I'll try to get um, get to your, your, your comment or question. Um, AJ Online, where am I located? I am in Hamilton, which is about an hour west of Toronto. Been here for a long time, man. Um, probably make the move back to the Caribbean pretty soon. Um, nothing confirmed yet. James Souza, appreciate the um, subscription and for joining in tonight, man. By the way, guys, remember to help this grow, to help us grow. And at, at the same time, you, you probably think you're just helping me. Um, but what we're doing, we're spreading our culinary culture throughout the world. So the more you guys can tell a friend and tell a friend and uncle and auntie and those people at your work, show them that we are more than just curry goat, roti, and jerk chicken. We have so much to offer, and that is what I'm trying to do here, right? Um, where are you in Brampton? <laughs> I haven't been in Brampton. Oh, yeah, I was in Brampton three, four weeks ago. I went down to, um, what is the border between Brampton and North York? There's a shoe store there. Well, not shoe store, sports store called Cebu Play. Word. The prices there are amazing, man. Word of the day, what is your favorite West Indian restaurant in Toronto? I do not have a favorite because none of them stand out. Uh, I, I don't eat out a lot, to be honest with you as well. And Toronto is a bit far from where I am. I'm not driving an hour to go and eat. And then when I eat, the right is kicking and your boy too sleepy to drive. I ain't able. But the food there, mind you, you there are some places you get some good doubles. There are some places you get a good roti. But lately... I ain't too big on it, man. Um, good night, Chris. Uh, Sharon, how are you doing? What's my favorite dessert? I am not a dessert person. I do have a weakness for rum and raisin ice cream. Um, I had one of the most awesome bread pudding ever at show restaurant in Trinidad. Chef Khalid rocked that... Um, my favorite dessert. Do I have a favorite dessert? Yo, give me fresh fruit, man. Give me a mango or a mandarin. or and That's my favorite fruits. Mango, mandarin, cherries, and pear. I love me some grapes as well, too, man. Um, Snoopy Eats 408. Nice to meet. You've been watching the channel for a long time. Hey, how you doing? Uh, <laughs> I'm going to butcher your name, so I'm going to spell it instead, right? I'm not going to pronounce it correctly n-e-c-h-i-a lee i can say lee I, that's all that one's easy great to have you here man um yeah pear I, I like my pear i don't like the pear fully ripe though I like with a bit of a, a snap when you you bite into it 
Um, unfortunately, I just cut down the pear tree in my backyard and I replaced it with a cherry tree. So we'll see what happens there. Karen, how are you doing? Good night. Um, from Illinois, we got Marvin A. Um, now, I would want to say Shadi, but you may pronounce it differently. Miles from Trinidad, how are you doing? A fried bake, Alex. Yeah, man, we got fried bake recipe on the website, CaribbeanPod.com, boy. Uh... <laughs> um, T. Haywood is asking a very interesting question. Um, he's asking about seasonings and I'm guessing spices and stuff like that with the CaribbeanPod.com brand. I've had to hold back on a lot of what I really want to do, um, but things are falling in place that I'll be able to really flex the way I want to flex. So in the new year, we've got big things coming in the new year. Speaking of which, I am close to, to finding a location where I'm going to do my first cooking demo. Uh, again, if you guys are following me on Instagram, you would have seen me three nights ago my little cousin was over and she wanted to learn how to, hello, Donna, how are you doing, Angela Barnes? Hey. <laughs> um, she wanted to learn how to um, to stew chicken as we do with the brown sugar. And people say burn the sugar. We're not really burning the sugar because if the sugar is burned, you got to toss that out. It's, it's going to F up your entire um, meal. And it got me thinking, I want, to, I want to do something similar. It would probably just be two recipes to start with. And the first... Um, cooking class or interaction, however, what you want to call it. Um, we got Stacy and Anne Marie Garraway. I went to school with the Garraway. Um, Hannah, um, how are you doing? <laughs> Listen to Chris. Chris, behave yourself. <laughs> um, I'm very close to finding that location. I'm securing the location. I already have a place in mind. It will be in Hamilton, though. So if you guys are local and you want more information for um, on that, it will be a free event. The one and only time I will be doing something um, where you guys can participate and, and, and stuff like that. So if you want to jump on that and jump on the opportunity to come online with your boy, um, there will be limited spots because the location is pretty small. Yeah, I'm still doing that kombucha or kombucha or whatever nonsense. Don't ever buy a case eh? until you know how it tastes. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, so please, if you're interested in that, if you know somebody local or willing to drive from Toronto or Mississauga or, or Kitchener or Buffalo, if you want to drive up and, and, and join us, I will have more details for that coming up soon. Um, yeah, baby girl, I'm still drinking that, yes. Um, Donna Gam Gambrell. <laughs> Word of the day, Hamilton is a big city now. It's all the Toronto people moved in here, man. Um, unfortunately, it may be growing too fast. Um, you can do a potato, roti, and lamb curry on the website. Done that. We ain't going back to that. Ashley Ramjohn is always in Hamilton. Uh, you can always buy me a coffee, you know. I ain't I, I hating. <laughs> I ain't refusing. <laughs> Jerk chicken pizza, Donna. What you coming here with? Um, no, I've never done one. I wanted to do some stuff on the grill outside with the whole pizza slash bread kind of thing, roti kind of. Uh, I like the idea of the jerk chicken pizza, though. Um, <laughs> Sharon, I'm doing good, man. Um, blessings. Good night. Uh, well, good evening. It is still clear outside. I'm looking out. To my office window is in that direction. I will not be making it. I do not like black pudding with rice. Stop doing that, please. Um, <laughs> my dad is making black pudding on the weekend, actually. I should go down and video him, but um, I don't know. It's kind of too hot to be outside these days, man. I don't know if you guys know this or if... We've been in the high 30s, low 40s Celsius for the past month and a half now. It's real heat out there, man. Um, Trini Flavors with Anna. How are you doing? New York City 2GA. Um, Augusta George, how are you doing? 
Renee is asking, is Jamaican food different from Trinidad? Yes and no. Um, it can be. Oh, that's an interesting one. How do I answer that? Um, there are differences, and then there is very uh, much similarities, and that can be said about the entire Caribbean. From island to island, you will see we do things with um, the same dish with slight nuances that be a little bit different and stuff like that. But for the most part, you can tell when something is from the Caribbean. And, and if you're new to Caribbean food, you will be. it will be difficult for you to place it on island, by island kind of thing. Um, Angela is asking, do more vegan? Yeah. <sighs> Angela, the problem is um, finding good, true vegan recipes. Um, I got you, man. I got you. Um, don't forget, we've got that Meat Free Monday that we do ever so often. I've got an interesting one coming up pretty soon. You guys really want to check that out. Grenada in the house, Diana Abain. Um, I met with the former Minister of Tourism for Grenada. Over the weekend at um, Caribana. So look for some stuff coming out coming out of that meeting. The spices are different. Not necessarily. Um, I, I'm guessing you respond, your response is into the Jamaican food versus um, other parts of the island. The only thing different about Jamaican food is they may go a little bit heavier with the pimento berries or allspice. Other than that, no, I wouldn't say the spices are different. Shaveen, how are you doing all the way from Jam Down? Um, Grenada, I love Grenada. <laughs> um, are some countries spicier? I would say yes, and only because the countries like Trinidad and Guyana, where Trinidad and Tobago, Guyana, a little bit in Grenada, St. Lucia, St. Vincent, where there is that whole East Indian sort of influence, we tend to find it a bit more spicy. Uh, sorry, um, my daughter is in Toronto. She works in Toronto, so she's just telling me she's jumping on the train now, so I know how much time I have with you guys before pst, gotta bounce. <laughs> Don't be all Wyatt. Wyatt wants to get one million subscribers. <laughs> Hazel from St. Lucia, how are you doing? You gotta love spice. But the thing about Caribbean food and spicy, spicy is only as spicy as you make it. Keep that in mind. And I'm thinking about true heat. I'm not talking about the sort of fake heat you get from using like cinnamon and, and nutmeg and curry and stuff like that. I'm talking about true heat from the peppers that we have growing on the islands. Um, you can control that for the most part, man. Can any of the provisions be baked? Maybe yum, green banana, cassava. Um, yum, we, you can roast it. So it's pretty much the same as baking it. And I would say yes to all the ones that you mentioned there. Um, excuse me, kombucha makes me hmm. kombucha. Am I saying that correct? Uh, um, yeah. Um, I have an interesting provision pie coming up. Svetla, Svetlana. Sorry about that. Um, where I'm going to use quite a few different um, ground provisions, and I'm going to make a wicked pie in the oven. You're going to want to tune into that one. Would you be able to answer that question better than better than me, um, Gina? What is the question? I may have missed it. You know, this stuff is going up here very fast. Oh, Egypt! Interesting question. Has the Asian culture have a big influence on Caribbean cooking? Back to the whole Trinidad Guyana. Uh, Jamaica and Cuba. After slavery was over, there was a shortage of labor. So indentured laborers came from China and India to the Caribbean. And this is why there is that strong influence when it comes to especially Chinese, um, Trinidad, Cuba, I know Trinidad, Guyana, then Cuba, maybe then Jamaica as far as the whole influence kind of thing. Um so yeah, it, there is um, there is a huge influence, and that is why I tell people some of the um, the best Chinese food you'll ever eat is in the Caribbean. Kid you not, no lie. Melissa, how are you doing? All the way from <laughs> I'm not gonna say Chicago this time. <laughs> yep, there she is again. Did you guys catch that? Watch right there. This kid of mine, man, she's always moving around whenever I'm doing this thing. 
I had to barbecue my lasagna and it's a hundred outside. A small thing, man. <laughs> It'll cook you. It will cook your um, lasagna faster. Sweet or savory plantains? Sweet, man. You gotta be sweet. Speaking of which, I've done two amazing recipes with plantain. I did that cinnamon brown sugar in the oven. Awesome. I will redo that though because back then my camera wasn't the greatest. So the image and everything isn't all that great. Um, and I did one with an orange glaze. Mama you, that plantain came out wicked boy. Um, Lisa is a princess 23. I love that name, man. Chris, from what I've seen in your recent Ratatouille video, your garden is all most impressive. Gardening tips on my channel. Um, there's been a number of requests for that. And thank you, by the way, for the compliment on my garden. Um, that is my little zen back there. So keeps me busy, keeps me out of trouble and all that kind of thing. Um, yeah, we'll do a video. I just, I, it's got to be in the start, the start of the season. But um, maybe in a couple of weeks, I will do a sort of a, a how-to, kind of the basics of gardening and stuff like that. Now, keep in mind, when we do that video, the sort of tips and everything that I'm sharing will be based on me living here in Canada. So things may be a little bit different depending on the zone that you live in. Um, so, yeah, definitely. Um, you put a list of foods together and when you go live, we cook along. Oh, there you go. Um, like a live show, I guess. Um, I had a friend that used to do that. I don't know if you guys remember Google Hangouts, but he used to do that. Um, and he used to get quite a bit of people on that show with him. So what he would do is he would be the host and then he would have a guest cooking and interacting with a camera and stuff like that. And then people would tune in and then be able to participate as well. Anne Marie, thank you so much. Um, is there really a difference in taste between Scotch bonnet peppers and habaneros? Mark, interesting question. For if you're new to peppers and stuff like that, you probably won't be able to tell other than the heat level. The habaneros are a bit more mild or tamer than the Scotch bonnet. But um, as a professional, I can taste the difference. I find the habanero more fruity. And I find this scotch bonnet has a more of a, a pronounced or bold flavor. And this is why if, even if you're cooking and you float that, that, um, that scotch bonnet pepper, you still get a lot of flavor. Donna, interesting question. Have you ever used ghost peppers? I have. So I've grown just about every variety of the hottest peppers, peppers in the world. This time I have three of them. Um, the latest hot one I have, I didn't buy any scorpion. I didn't get any scorpion this year purposely because why? You know, I can't even use it. It's so hot, man. But I went above the scorpion and I got the Carolina Reaper just to see what it's all about. And um, But I have tried it. I have tried the, what was the question? The Indian Naga Gao, or was it Naga, whatever. Yeah, Donna, I have um, the ghost peppers. That's right, ghost peppers. Um, compared to the scorpion team, <laughs> word Shannon, behave yourself. <laughs> Yo, Javon, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate that, um, that support and, and the dedication to the channel. Always, um, always a pleasure. Um, you're moving back to the Caribbean, if so, and why it will be a back and forth, surely. Um, my girls are here. Um, while they love the Caribbean, Canada is still home. And there's still things I have to do here. So it will be a back and forth kind of thing. Just trying to figure out. I don't want a five-hour flight. The five-hour flight to Trinidad is a bit too long for me. But um, as far as why, I love my Caribbean, man. I miss the Caribbean every day. And then, you know, you wake up. And it's minus 30 outside and the wind and the hail and the snow and the sleet and all that stuff like that. Yeah, that's a reminder of, yeah, you're from the Caribbean and you got to go back. Um, nah, I ain't leaving my house. I'll be around. Uh, Trini cooking with Natasha. How are you doing, my dear? 
We haven't chatted in a while. Um, but you got a wicked garden, though. What are you talking about? You got a big old yard there with all them fruit trees and stuff like that. You got yourself together, man. I even have, you don't need <laughs> you don't need my help, man. Um, night Chanel. How is your Trini? Um, <laughs> yeah, Chanel, Shamil, Shamil. I, I'm sorry. I should put on the glasses, but then I look like like Clark Kent. I ain't able. Chutney in the park. I don't even know what that is, my friend. I'm GT in Gaza. Um, oh, good news, guys. I will be first time ever Labor Day, New York City. You will see me there. I'll be in Boston first, and then I'm heading to New York. After that, I will be Soak of the Soak on the Seas in October, so out of Miami. I'm hoping to go in early so I can do Miami Carnival. I've never done Miami Carnival. I just did. What's his song? Matuni Hatuna. <laughs> um, good night, Ms. Nisha. Lee. Uh, again, I'm sorry. Yeah, Melissa. Um, New York Labor Day weekend. I still don't have the exact dates, but my brother is in um Tokia. My brother is in New York. He's in Harlem, Bro Brooklyn. Love me some kingfish too, man. Yeah, guys, if you don't mind, if you could hit that thumbs up, that would be um <laughs> that would be awesome. Listen to Melissa. Melissa telling me to bring a walker, lady. I ain't that broco yet, you know. <laughs> Brooklyn in the house. Brooklyn Carnival. That's the one I'm speaking about, Chuck. I've never done it before, so this is gonna be my first time. Um, well, Labor Day Jam in Brooklyn. I'll be doing it. Um, GP1207. Is there a big Guyanese community in Toronto? Very much so. If I were to guess, I would say it is the biggest Guyanese community outside of Guyana. Um, well, maybe New York. I am not sure, but it is massive. No, Lisa, I don't freeze vegetables at all. I freeze peppers. That's about it. If I have extra tomato, I will quicker make a sauce with it. I used to freeze tomato, um, uh, wash them really good, and then freeze them. And then when you're cooking and you want to thicken the sauce or gravy or something, you just pop one in there. Mr. Melts out, thickens up that sauce. Real nice, man. But as far as... Um, as far as freezing vegetables, no, unfortunately, I don't. Um, is scorpion pepper the same as same to bonnet? They are from the same family, but other than that, <laughs> there's nothing else similar. Mm, excuse me, my mommy would be vexed at me right right now, belching and people's oh boy, the scorpion pepper is insane. Uh, I don't know if you guys have ever tried it, but if you're not into heat, don't fingers everything. The oils, even the oils from the outside could burn your fingers and your skin and stuff like that so um yeah deed crabs with pizza okay shannon good for you shannon i think you're gonna get hidden there we go I ain't able. Guys, if you're going to be making these weird jokes, um, I'm going to be forced to. Yeah, exactly. Cooking co quarry chicken? What is quarry chicken, Joshua? <laughs> I guess you mean curry chicken. Yeah, man, you got to enjoy that curry chicken. Um, um, or really, I did carnival before I did my trinity fam took me, teach me how to wine up the ways, can't do scorpion thing. <laughs> Bread of it. Well, here's the thing I was born and bred on the islands, so I don't think I need anyone to teach me how to wine. <laughs> uh, but I am broco, so it's be a kind of broco wine. Uh, <laughs> 
Guinness Braze Oxtail. I have a new one coming out for the, what's that electric pressure cooker thing? It's probably in my garage somewhere. I'm, I've used it a couple of times since they sent it to me. Um, we've been on here for about half an hour now. Um, a whole pepper? Easy, man. <laughs> Answer our recipe. <laughs> Instapot, that is it. Um, yeah, lemongrass can be frozen. So what you do is you, you cut them into the size pieces that you think you're going to use. More the bottom part, from the root up maybe about six inches. And then um, you wash them really well, air dry them out really well, and then you put it in a Ziploc bag into the fridge, into the freezer. Or you can cut them up very, very fine and then um, put them out on a, on, a, on a tray and let them air dry really well and then put it in the freezer bag and put it in whenever you're ready to use it. So if you want to make a good lemongrass tea or what we call fever grass tea, you pull some of that out. Or if you have the chopped one, if you're doing like a good um, a lemongrass uh, stir fry, you can take it out, boom, pop it in there, and you're good to go. We've got Trini Kitchen. How are you doing, man? Um, Jennifer Worrell from St. Croix. Uh, St. Croix. <laughs> I remember the story was when my, um, <laughs> when my aunt's husband left her, he took off and went to St. Croix. <laughs> to this day, she cusses that place. <laughs> Love you. How are you doing all the way from Germany, man? We're in Germany. I was um I was in Frankfurt. I was in Radgau. Um all the way up into where the army, the US Army base is and all that. I was all the way up there, man. Eggless custard. Why bother? No, I don't have one. Sorry. Um Roger from Toronto. The piece word that thing keeps forever because it's in vinegar. Um, you can keep that for a while. Bear me for a second, okay? Yeah, my sister. Um, one in a million is asking what I cooked today. You guys really got to jump on the Instagram. I do all the stories on there, man. I did. What did I do? Lasagna with a whole bunch of spinach in there. But since I'm not into pasta, where is... Melissa, I went out and I got Chinese food instead. <laughs> Shiva, uh, Sherma from Beautiful Tobago. I'm not going to argue on that one, boy. Tobago is wicked, man. Philly in the house. Gobsmacker 28. How you doing? Uh, where we go? Where we go? Where we're at now? I'm in London. I miss my pepper pot. Now, Guyanese pepper pot and Jamaican pepper pot is totally different. So which one do we mean? Guyanese pepper pot is that stew that slowly bubbles for a few days around Christmas time. Dip that plat bread in there and, and eat it with the kasrip in there, right? Whereas in most of the other islands, it is a soup, a very hearty soup with a lot of niceness in there. Um, I don't have a social media, sorry. Not to use my social media fix. Well, there you go, man. From Arlington, Texas, Janelle. Good night. Um, yeah, the Guyanese um, pepper pot. I've got a wicked recipe. Very simplified, but very good. The one I don't like, though, I've had a few pepper pots where it was mostly goat. I'm not the biggest fan of goat, and I find it didn't work too good in the pepper pot for some reason. That's just my personal take, though. Um, uh, Bernadette, wicked story, man. Born in Queens, military. So you're a military brat, eh? Um, I am military trained, you know. <laughs> um, little small little secret there. My dad is training right now living. I hope he is enjoying his... I'm guessing he's retired out of the military, right? I hope he's enjoying things, man. Um, Janelle, I have noted that. Um, do you have a nice dal recipe? No, I've got an ugly one. <laughs> there are two, two dal recipes on the website. One with just split peas. And one with split yellow split peas and lentils and the brown lentils. Both of them are awesome. There's three actually. 
There's another one that I flavored things with salted pigtails in there. So, man, thing wicked, yes. Um, Thai curry. I am not a huge fan of the Thai curry, but the other dishes that the Thai make, you can't go wrong, man. Just love their stuff. Queens in the house. Big up yourself. They in a Gina. Now, not Gina, right? Briggs. Friends, one more time, if you don't mind, if you could hit that thumbs up, that would be greatly appreciated. Remember, as we said at, at the start, feel free to share this video. Tell your friends about what we're doing here at CaribbeanBot.com. Um, it helps me grow and by extension, the culinary culture of the Caribbean, right? I try to represent any and everyone out of the Caribbean. <laughs> For babies... Yeah, I stopped having babies a long time ago, man. <laughs> Do you have recipes for babies? No, I've never really explored. <laughs> Why am I laughing? That one is funny, you know, because of something that was recently told to me. Uh, these people want to have Chris's baby. But, uh, no, Patina, I have no, um, I have no real recipes for babies. But um, yo, get them kids eating yam and salt fish, man. They're going to be strong and big and handle themselves, you know? No, sorry. Oxtail in a slow cooker. I don't own a slow cooker, um, or I would. Um, maybe I'll go grab a slow cooker just to do some slow cooker recipes. Look at you and your Phil Pittsburgh and Philly. I am not a Pittsburgh fan. I am not a Philadelphia fan. I am not an NFL fan for the past couple of years, but I've always been a 49ers fan, to be honest with you. Um, by way of Jamaica. I'm down in the house again. Simple. How are you doing, Philly? Much love from Atlanta. Will win. Likewise, much love from Hamilton. Uh, way up north. Thank you so much. Um, tell small man that I appreciate the feedback on the oxtail, man. Um, am, I, am I a cricket fan? I used to be. Old school West Indies. Um... Uh, one second. We've got. I've got to. Somebody's talking about. <laughs> Why do people jump on here to tell us these vulgar things, man? This is not the platform for that. I will delete you, man. Damn, it's unfortunate that people feel the need to come and jump me people thing, yeah? Sorry about that, friends. It had someone here um, posting some messages here that isn't for everyone. Well, not for me, anyways. Scott from Boston. Is this person, Charmaine, are you asking me if I have ever eaten Tacoma worm? Please tell me it's not really a worm. Because, you know, I posted recently, maybe yesterday, a picture of, will it, will it show up? Um, hold on. Just bear me for one second. Let's see if we can do this. Oh, you know what? I think I deleted it. Nah, man. So let's see if this. So look at this. Nah, I can't see it. But if you go on my Instagram feed, you'll see it. I posted a picture of frog legs. Yo, the Thai and the Vietnamese. Them bitches know how to do good frog legs. And I love it. And I posted a picture of it. The things that people would say, how disgusting it is. So, you know, my little thing is, if you find frog legs disgusting, yet you would eat an egg, which is an, a baby chicken, an embryo, or whatever you want to call that, and you want to tell me frog legs is disgusting? We got people drinking milk. Do you know where milk comes from? Come on, man. That's from an animal's... Melissa, yes, it does taste like chicken wings, though. Not just chicken, like chicken wings. You deep fry it nice and crispy with the batter. Mama, my, my, yo. Love me some frog legs. Gotta be done right, though, eh? And properly seasoned. Not this black pepper <laughs> and salting. I ain't able. No. Um, have you ever considered cooking show on PBS and the cooking channel, the Food Network? Chuck, we've had discussions with two networks now. I'm not allowed to talk about it. But, um, We'll see. Um, yeah, Donna, you know, um, Donna is saying that some some cultures think goat is disgusting. Some cultures think 
if you put a fish on a cooked fish on a plate with its head still on there, they think it is disgusting. Normal thing for me. I eat in that head and everything. Uh, that didn't sound too good, but yeah, I'm eating that, man. Um, I don't understand how people differentiate between animal produce if you eat what? Point fourteen in the house. Um, my sister's god son is from point fourteen. Her best friend is from point fourteen. My best friend, what am I saying? Mark O'Brien. Chef Mark, point fourteen man. Do you do Caribbean food tours? I do not do food tours. Is it something I'd like to do? Probably, because here's the thing. I really want people to understand um, food and, and, and cooking and everything is not so much just fixated in the kitchen. And this is why I take you guys outside to my garden all the time. You know, most chefs and cooks and everybody is so focused on creating that that dish, that one dish, and then they, they use a whole bunch of props to make it look good and stuff like that. But ask them anything about the how the food got to them before they prepared it. They can't. I know these things, and I love to share that with people. Um, Faisabad, Trinidad, where there? That is where the whole labor union thing started down there, I believe. Um, love fishing. Some Americans think it's weird to eat mango without... Yo, speaking about knife and fork, I kid you not. I don't know if you, most of you probably do, but if you don't know, a doubles is two fried dough. It's like a sandwich, right? So two pieces of fried dough, and there's like chickpeas and uh, chickpeas, sort of runny chickpeas that you put in the middle and you top it. I'm not doing it justice by how delicious this thing is, right? But it's one of those things where you scoop and you put into your, into your mouth and you just, it's leaking down on your hand and stuff like that. You lick your fingers and everything. I kid you not, I am at a Trinbegonian joint in Toronto. Miss Lady asked me if I want a knife and fork to eat my doubles. The loudest troops I hit that woman. Yes, no, please. No, no, no. Uh, no, save it. Um, <laughs> um, boiled egg curry. Um, you mean curry boiled egg? <laughs> yeah, I have. Um, my mom used to make that for us when we were growing up, man. Um, butternut, yeah, man. I've tried butternut and I've tried buttercup. Have you ever tried buttercup? We're talking, um, squash. Mm -mm. Melissa's asking if I put a napkin under my chin for um, when I was eating the doubles. Mm -mm. All down my shirt. I ain't care. Snack for later. When you're eating at doubles, you got to be messy, man. If it's not messy, don't put on your, your good clothes. Don't put on your Sunday best. Don't put on your whites like if you're going to play cricket or whatever. You ain't going to a boat ride party here. We're going to eat doubles, and it's going to get messy, and I expect to get messy. Now, traditionalists will say you can't eat a roti with knife and fork too, but there's the time and place. Because I know when the ladies do their nails and stuff like that, they ain't trying to dip that down into you no know, curry and then a beautiful manicure goes all green and stuff like that. No, no, no. We ain't curry. Isn't that one? But doubles, man, come on. Um, Island Foods in Toronto. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Listen, you're too wicked with yourself. <laughs> um... No, Donna, doubles did not originate anywhere in India. It is born and bred in Princess Town, Trinidad, Tobago. And I know the actual person, well, the son of the person who invented it. Actually, I have, it's a really good book. If you guys are interested, it's called From the Doubles Kitchen or it's back there somewhere inside the Doubles Kitchen. Really nice story about how doubles came about and stuff like that. Nothing to do with India, though, sorry. Um, Florida, it is hard to, in America to find scotch bonnet peppers. Nah, man, Florida, you got to go to the Caribbean grocery stores. They got them there, I'm certain. Um, Padesi, I think I've seen Natasha in the kitchen talk about. 
But um, if you can't get scotch bonnet, don't fret, man. Use habanero. You're going to... Come on, man. Do you use potato in your roti or plain? I'm not sure what you're asking as in the stuffing or to eat it with. My mom makes potato roti and dal roti, which we call polori. Uh, listen to me. I call that thing polori. My bad. Um, how do we call that, boy? Look at this. Dalpuri. There we go. Please share a holiday drink recipe like Haitian cremas on the website, man. I got you. It's already up and, and posted on there. I've got that. I've got eggnog. I've got, no, no, uh, pancha creme. And I've got the one from, what's the one they have in Puerto Rico? I can't remember the name of it. Food Town. There we go. Trini Cooking with Natasha is still here. Try Food Town. Um, you guys can get um, your um, scotch bonnet peppers there. Guys, it's getting late. And I've got to head down pretty soon to get my daughter the train station. <laughs> Why is she catching kicks on me, boy? Um, so I'm going to bounce out of here. Always a pleasure chatting with you guys. Hit that thumbs up. Share the video. And um, we will link up back next week, Thursday. Yeah, I'm around next week, Thursday. Um, I'm thinking maybe maybe tomorrow evening, if I have time, I'll do a, a, a Facebook Live thing. Thanks, uh, Natasha. Um, Lisa, Melissa, Jennifer, baby girl, Donna. Donna, always a pleasure, man. Karen. Blessed highly forever. Lisa is a princess. I still love that one, man. Friends, good night. Enjoy all the evening. It is still young here. I'm going to go grab 